All eyes were on the Paul Nichols train Prospect Wells at Fontwell on Wednesday and you can see how the former smart hurdler fared on his chasing debut elsewhere on RPTV and our YouTube channel. Paul Nichols was not the only high profile trainer with runners at the Sussex track. Alan King bagged the opening two and three quarter mile novices hurdle with six year old Joja Bean in the orange. The seven to four shot finished behind favourite Shushagar last time out that had come on enormously for the run according to jockey Wayne Hutchinson and comprehensively turned the form around. Is running across the track, hanging right handed, but has the advantage as they climb the final hill. Yeah, Hafed is battling back, then west away, and Shushu Gar is Joja Bean's just going to see it out here in the final 50. And Joja Bean holds Yah Hafed, who ran a brave race. West away in third. Tony McCoy was seen at his brilliant best in the two and three quarter mile handicap chase when pushing out 11 to 8 favourite full of joy to a cosy success. The JP McManus owned eight year old was well backed beforehand and duly rewarded supporters securing his first win in three years. Returning champ McCoy was visiting the winner's enclosure for the 12th time this season and despite being ruled out for the first couple of weeks with injury is now just nine winners behind the pace setting Jason Maguire. And the power of a first-time visor was advertised by the Richard Johnson-ridden Kel Ballistic, who romped to success in the Three Mile Two Novices Handicap Chase. The visor replaced cheek pieces on the Peter Bowen trained nine-year-old, who had been beaten on all nine previous starts in this country, and finished some 84 lengths behind Patsy Finnegan at Utoxeter at the beginning of the month. Kel Ballistic is well clear, has made every yard of the running, jumped quickly, raced with enthusiasm. The visor has worked its magic. Kel Ballistic wins easing down from Dimpsey Time in second, Inner Steel in third. A long gap then to KC, who's running on past old dreams. And then back behind them, Dr Thistle, and nothing else has finished. And the John Ferguson trained two to one favourite Father Edward ran out a comfortable winner of the concluding two and a quarter mile bumper on his race course debut. And then another Brandy and Blue Bear as they race towards the final furlong. And Father Edward, now ridden more seriously, has a two length advantage. When in Rome, White Sleeve, Spring Hill Lad on the extreme outside, the right is Blue Bear. And then another Brandy, but inside the final hundred yards, Father Edward, he looked the part in the paddock and he looks pretty good in the race as well. He's a nice prospect. Father Edward wins from Spring Hill Lad in second, Blue Bear third. Another Brandy, When in Rome, Tiller's Bell. Further back, Bow Quest from Henwood.